you look at that, you think there'd be a bass on every stump, wouldn't you? Just look at that. Oh, oh man. I'm Dale Verts. I'm stuck somewhere in a swamp in southern Louisiana. I'll be right back and we'll talk about some old school stuff. <laughs> That one don't like me one bit. I didn't see it till it slapped its tail at me. Breeding season. That one's mad. That's a 10, 12 footer. So my wife and I are here in the Chafalaya Basin, Southern Louisiana, not very far from Lafayette. We're just looking around the swamp and poking around for a couple hours. Been talking about doing this for several years, bring kayaks down and get out here amongst the gators and critters. Seen a couple gators so far. It's been a really nice day. We're gonna do this all evening, probably for another day or two. Uh, I'm looking, I mean, just look at this territory, y'all. I know there's bass in this place. It gives me the shakes and shivers. I, I get shakes pretty bad when I see stuff that looks like that. It, it also got me thinking how to approach fishing this. Now, I did not bring a fishing rod, fishing boat. Well, I got me my fishing boat here. This is about my wife, it's her vacation, not mine. There's obviously bass in this lake. I know there's been some big ones caught in this, this part of the country. We're uh, just off the main Chafalaya River. The water's actually pretty good here. It's muddy and high everywhere. Looks pretty good here. Some of these backwoods bios, they never get quite as muddy, I don't think. Got that tannic acid, it's beautiful water. And you think, well, what would I start with? What would I throw here, you know? and but. That got me thinking about some stuff I was seeing back at home. What people do, how folks fish. It's amazing the things I've seen that have changed. I came back to fishing more serious 2017. I've talked about that fall 2016. And I've observed a lot of people doing a lot of things, fishing that new to me or new to my way of thinking. And my way of thinking probably ain't always right. Matter of fact, it probably is never right. But that big bass bash I fished, that, that was amazing because I watch a ton of people fishing. And one thing that I have seen since I came back to bass fishing, not just tournament fishing, just bass fishing period, but especially that thing was the people throwing swim baits. Mostly those Kai Tech style three and four inch swim baits on jig heads or whatever. I have seen that everywhere I've went. I see them hung up in trees wrapped around boat dock cables. And I've never thrown one on a jig head or Texas rig just to swim. I've never done it. I've thrown swim baits. We threw swim. I mean, my gosh, a sassy shad. Look that up. You don't know what a Mr. Twister sassy shad is. That's from that's from way back. It's nothing but a swim bait. The three and four inch curl tails. I throw a lot of them on a jig head. That's a swim bait. The big hard glide baits. I got some of those. I haven't thrown them a lot, but I've got some. But that 3.3 inch and four inch, whatever, Kitek style. I even make them. I even have a mold. I've made a bunch. Made a bunch for a Alabama rig, which I've hardly ever thrown. So how's that for versatility? Man, everybody's throwing them swim baits, which is a great reason for me maybe not to throw one. You ever think about that? Same thing goes for a, a swamps like this. A lot of people are going to be doing the same thing. What would I do different? Of course, this is obviously plastic worm, creature bait, jig, whatever, pitch and flipping these, all this crap in water, cypress knees everywhere. There's some grass beds, some lily pads, the water's up. I mean, this would be a frog top water thing, no doubt. But a lot of people are doing the same thing. I like doing stuff different than other people do. That swim bait thing blows me away. A lot of people throw A-rigs. I haven't done much. I understand that they work. I know how good they work when they were new. I've talked to buddies of mine. It is scary how good they work when the fish hadn't been assaulted with that kind of hardware. What I hardly ever see people do across the board, I have to say this carefully, so many people, and kayak fishermen are the worst, are throwing a bait, and dragging or hopping it back, a slow bait, a jump bait. We used to call them jump baits. Creatures, mostly, soft plastic. 
I went a whole year once watching folks in kayaks fishing smaller lakes around my house within a couple of counties where I live. I never saw anybody throwing a plastic worm out of those kayaks at one time. I've never seen a kayak fisherman throwing a crankbait. A lot of guys just don't like throwing a crankbait. I don't know why. This is crankbait season for me. Crankbait's in top water for the next few weeks. Crankbait's the rest of the year, of course. Top water's in the right situation, of course. I don't get it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe they're doing it right. But I, I see so few people. I know a lot of people throw crankbaits, but I see very few people throwing a crankbait. That big bass bash. I saw one guy in two days throwing a crankbait. Now, it wasn't the best situation. He's throwing a bright red, crazy-looking crankbait. I mean, glowing red, which was fine. It, he, I, I wouldn't catch him. I can't say much. A lot of people were throwing those swim baits, though. Um, then one guy, first thing at morning, I saw it several times, first thing at first morning, this guy's throwing about a five or six inch glide bait. And all he is doing is throwing it. He is just fishing it everywhere. He's throwing it in front of docks, on side of docks. He's throwing it between docks. No pattern, no specific thing, which kind of bothers me. Be just looking for that one big bite, and it kind of makes sense too. Because before the term was over, I started doing that with big jerk bait. Just start. I, I threw it over 40 foot of water. I threw it up on the bank. I threw it everywhere. So maybe he was on something. But no specific technique. Just throw that glide bait out and wind her in. Never changes the retrieve. I watched him for 30 minutes that first morning. Saw a lot of guys throwing spinner baits. Again, I didn't catch him in that tournament, so. I never weighed a fish in, so I'm not one to judge, but they were ultra clear water. I mean, okay, clear water, six to eight foot visibility. Unless the fish are up and eating, a spinnerbait's not my choice there, not at all. Boy, a lot of people flinging spinnerbaits. Kind of amazing to me. Most amazing thing, though, maybe, during that tournament, that two days, everybody fishing for $100,000 bass was the guys throwing 10 inch worms several one man talked to me about he goes you're gonna think i'm crazy you see i'm throwing he cranked it in throwing a 10 inch ribbon tail worm he said i just caught a 10 pound catfish scared me to death thought i won a bunch of money yeah that's a lot of bait to be throwing to pre-spawn and early spawn bass you're gonna miss a lot of in my opinion you're gonna miss a lot of bites on that bait real low percentage but then again if fish gets a hold of it just maybe a big old good and that's our great old big and that's what we're looking for so the things I see people doing that make me wonder what I'm doing. Not too much, because what I'm doing, the kind of things I fish, the kind of stuff I'm up to used to work really good and sometimes still does. I have not seen another person flip like I do, old-fashioned flipping, since I come back to fishing. Not one person. I barely see it on TV pro fishing stuff when I watch some of that, barely. Everybody got away from that. And there's no way you're convinced me that ain't still one of the best techniques in the world, especially for big baths. I, you sure the heck would want to do it here some places. I mean, Mike, this place is built for flipping. Pitching, too, but, you know, being precise with the bait, this place is made for it. Keep waiting for a gator to poke his head up. So I guess the point of the video is people are doing things different than I did for years and probably doing it better than I'm doing now. But I think a lot of people have read a lot of articles and watched a lot of TV without any thought to context. Time of year, fish, locations, the pattern, what fish are doing, I think. Could be wrong. Man, I did not catch a bass big enough to weigh in that two-day tournament. $100,000. I did not catch a three-pound bass. Lost a four-and-a-half, five-pounder, which a, that's a money fish. But So I'm not the one to be talking, but I'm just thinking. That's what I do when I'm in a swamp, <laughs> in a chop fly base in Louisiana, in a kayak, trying to find a gator bigger than me. I'm going to see one bigger than me. Well, 12 foot kayak. I, there's bigger gators than that out here. This is awesome stuff. I want to shoot this quick video. I got my wife, got her out here for a few days doing something different before we get back and try to get our business started back up. We've been down for a couple weeks. I got some people to interview and hopefully get back on track to be open and have a productive life again. This is just nothing but spending money, but this is a great place to spend money, y'all. A few bugs few weird noises out there. Get here at night with a light, that'd be fun. Listen to that.
awesome place to be. I'm glad to be here. We love this swamp. First time ever doing it in a kayak. First time for my wife. Second time she's ever seen the swamp. She's hooked on it too. I'm going to go. I'm go catch up with her and go do something different. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Just thinking about different things. How people fish. How I fish. Maybe how I can improve myself. That's what it's all about. We'll talk at y'all later.